Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is part three of my tutorial on how to forge your sword. And in this part, we normalize the sword. And what that is, that's taking all the stress out of it because of all the work we've done to it, and softening it up so we can, uh, you know, work on it, file it, and grind it, and sand it, and whatnot. So I have here a sword, for what I call the sword forge that we've made, and that's so we can heat up the entire length of the sword. So I'm just setting it up. Put some screen in there and I'm putting it hardwood lump charcoal in it and we're going to start this fire going and I'll show you a little bit more about this sword forge in this video and I'm also going to do a tutorial on how to make one of these forges like this so you can do some sword work if you want so we just get that fire started and it takes a little while but once those coals are uh, nice and hot like this then we're just about ready to uh, get going with the sword. So we put the sword right in there and we want to heat up the whole sword or Most of it anyway. We're not too worried about the tang. We want to heat up the whole blade of the sword Nice and even and get it nice and hot and red hot And it's very important that you really keep a close eye on this You know, move your coals around monitor the whole sword make sure it's all heating up evenly Move it around move it back and forth move the coals around get it nice and hot the whole sword evenly heated and so now let's take a look at this forge while that's heating we'll take a look at a little bit about this forge it's a 55 gallon drum that we cut in half um, uh, longitudinally right cut it in half and then we put in this two-year system you know to, to, to attach a blower to it and with all the holes so we can get you know a forging temperature and if anything you can always use it to roast marshmallows make s'mores or something so let's get back to the forging it takes some time. You got to bring that temperature up and keep checking it. Now, here's an important thing: it's not at temperature now, but you check it with a magnet along the whole length. Because once it gets to the point where the magnet no longer sticks to it, it's reached Curie temperature, and you're good. You can remove it from the fire. So, see now, this is almost ready. Oh, that beautiful or what? You got to keep a close eye on it. and be normalizing it, getting all the stress out of it, softening it up so we can work on it, which will be in the next video. See, and this sword is just about ready. So what I've done, what I do next is I move it out of the coals into a warm, uh, the cooler, you know, relatively speaking, cooler section of the of the fire. I've turned the the blower off, and we're going to just move it over to the side and let that coal, let that fire cool off on its own. And then a while later, we can take it, and remove it from the fire. So it's just air cooled. That normalizes the sword. Now we'll be able to grind it, file it, polish it, you know, do stuff like that to it and work on it some more. So that's it. In the next installment, I'll show you grinding and polishing and all of that. Uh, lots more stuff on my website at stormycastle.com and here on my YouTube channel, Epic Fantasy. And lots more blacksmithing stuff. I also have parts one and two of this video series. Uh, thanks for watching.